Yo, Joe Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel, and, and welcome to an entire week of G.I. Joe. All of the new Joes arrived over the weekend. Uh, Shipwreck got here first from Amazon, and then Pulse delivered everything else. So you guys know me, I play re uh, pre-order roulette. I will order from Pulse, Amazon, and Big Bad, and whoever gets it to me first gets my money. Uh, so Bazooka here came over the weekend from Pulse, uh, all in one big delivery with Torpedo and Copperhead, which they don't always do. But it's really interesting to note, and actually I, I guess I'll go ahead and pull the other ones over here real quick just so you can see. Uh, Bazooka very clearly was meant to come out earlier in the line because he has the old style packaging. Uh, whereas our other three subjects here that we'll get to over the course of the week have the new packaging that I think is some of the best toy packaging I've ever seen in my life. But we'll get to them later on. For now, we've got Bazooka, uh, who is in the plastic-free packaging where they were going with just the custom artwork uh, as the overwhelming portion of the front of the box, which, you know, I'm not opposed to this personally, but if you're trying to sell action figures, you need to put a picture of the action figure prominently on the front of the box. I don't, as much as I like the different art styles that they were using, I just don't, it took them a while to figure it out. I'll just say that. Uh, we do still have the specialties on the side of the box. You can go, well, I don't even know if you can go to gijoe.com anymore. Uh, this is the older style, so it doesn't have the QR code, but there's, there's nothing there last time I checked. Uh, You've got the image of the figure on the back with all the accessories and everything. I like the the actual inches of the height of the figure. So now I don't have to measure it, right? No, I probably still will. Uh, number 62, and there you go. That, that's all you need to know. I mean, I think this packaging looks fine, but I didn't... I never loved it. Uh, but I did like the elimination of the plastic trays. The window, I, I think... I'll be happy to see back, but the plastic trays on the inside, I would love to just never, ever see again. Uh, all right. This is what I'm talking about. I love the fact that the figure is just in, and he's not even really all that tightly tied in here with the twine. Uh, he's just in here, not being uh, mutilated in any way by a plastic tray. And then you go in the back, you can either... Uh, these aren't that hard to untie, but I've got, you know, I've got these here, so why not use them? That tray is not a keeper. I'll just toss that to the side. Uh, and, oh, you know what? I should have grabbed the Tiger Force Bazooka. I grabbed my original O-Ring Bazooka for comparison. But I, you know what, I want to go grab Tiger Force Bazooka. While it's interesting to see the inspiration that created this figure, uh, honestly, it's probably more relevant to see what other current visions of this figure, especially ones that came out before it, look like. Uh, so there's our Tiger Force Bazooka, the full review you can check out on this channel. And you can see the skin tone is actually a bit different. Tiger Force version is a little more pale. And the elbow discoloration is something we're just going to have to get used to. I don't think it's quite as noticeable. And look, to some, some eyes it may not be noticeable at all. And to me, looking at this, it's not really that bad. But it is there. Uh, but as far as just being a cool looking toy, I gotta go with Tiger Force Bazooka just being more fun on the shelf. But of course, this guy is the bazooka we all know and love. And I want to hear what you guys think about this. and uh, Let me know in the comments. Because, okay, so anyway, that's our differences. Uh, you've got the camo on the pants, uh, the different color of the jersey. You can see the striping of the jersey isn't done quite as well on on the Tiger Force. Looks pretty good. It's pretty clean. But then on the new one, that stripe's a little uneven. Not looking great. 
That's fine. I don't really care that much, but it's just noticeable that it's not quite as clean a paint job uh, on this version. Uh, Portrait-wise, everything looks pretty much the same. Even even the paint. Pretty, pretty close. Uh, so there you go. There's a comparison with the two modern bazookas. And now our original bazooka. So this is what I want you guys to comment on. As you can see, on the original version, uh, everything's pretty clean. There's no uh, wear or fading painted in. And actually... You know, I hadn't thought about this in a long time. That's sculpt. Those numbers are actually sculpt. They're not just painted on. That's pretty awesome. Same thing with the stripes on the sleeves. What a great touch that is. Uh, I love Bazooka mainly for, like, he's, he's a, you know, a bright, different-looking character for the time. But mainly I just really liked his, uh, the way he was portrayed on the Sunbow cartoon and his friendship with Alpine. Like, they were two of my favorite characters on the show. Um, but you can see all the printing on his jersey is pretty clean, whereas they went with that same wear and fading that's on, let me put him back over here, uh, they went with the same wear and fading that's on the Tiger Force version of Bazooka on this one. Uh, again, it, it kind of doesn't bother me, really. I'm trying to straighten up the numbers on the front there. Um, I'm not going to say it bothers me, but I would have preferred if this had just been clean. Uh, rather than having the the wear printed in there. Just to give it another uh, different thing from the Tiger Force version. Uh, so he's got a great portrait, same portrait as Tiger Force. The mustache looks awesome. Uh, he's got a great haircut as well. Kind of that really clean substitute teacher. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go back. I said substitute teacher. I am going to take that away and say that he looks like the assistant manager I think his name was Scott from my first job at Chick-fil-A only like a jacked up version of Scott uh, so that, that's going to mean absolutely nothing to anybody watching this but uh, he looks exactly like Scott from Chick-fil-A if he was on uh, steroids so articulation wise and I will say the classified figures have been getting a little, and not to the point where it's bothering me, but noticeably a little gummier. And this bazooka feels like he is the older type of plastic. The less gummy, which makes sense because he was intended to come out, or it seems that he was intended to come out earlier in the line. Um... I want to see what neck joint he's got. It seems like he's just got the... Yeah, he's just got the double ball joint. He does not have... The, I I really need want Hasbro to bring that disc back uh, for the pull, full pivot that the earlier classified figures had. This, this doesn't get the job done for me. Uh, everything else is the same. Drop down hips, although they move pretty freely. Not getting any stress or wear or anything out of there thigh swivel, double jointed knees, uh, everything doing what it's supposed to do. No issues with any of the joints here. Like I said, the plastic feels really nice. It's not the uh, somewhat gummier plastic that we've seen. I don't care for that glossy disc right there. And again, not a big deal, but it's noticeable. It doesn't look great. It's, it is very clearly a different finish from the plastic surrounding it. Uh, so I'm not a big fan of that either. That's right up there with the elbow joints as I notice it. I don't care for it. It's not ruining the figure for me at all. But also it seems like something that should be preventable on Hasbro's end. I like these little separate belts that they do. Uh, you, you know, you kind of have to fiddle to get them into place. But they do generally stay there once you put them there. But it's a great way to be able to make these characters more unique because so many of them share this same crotch piece but then you throw this belt on top and, and who would even know? So yeah, pretty good. Oh, that butterfly joint's not moving at all. Boy, that's just pointless, huh? 
that one's giving me a little movement. I might have to heat that up a little bit to get anything out of it. You have to do that sometimes. All right, so anyway, there's Bazooka. I think he looks great. He looks like, he looks like Bazooka. They got it. They did it right. Uh, I can hardly wait to get an Alpine. So let's take a look at the accessories here. Got our little foot locker that I will, you know, I think is neat. I think it's a fun, it's almost like having an extra step, an extra thing to do. Because one of the things I miss about toy collecting is assembling vehicles. We just don't get to do that very much anymore. Uh, so having that separate little foot locker with the accessories in it, it's like there's an extra step to opening the figure. It adds a little something to it. So I, I really like that. I really enjoy the foot lockers. Make sure you get everything out of the bag. And let's see. I wonder, I know obviously the helmet is a different color and I think there's a different paint app on that one uh, rocket there. But I do wonder if the rest of this is the same shade of green. Let's see. Okay, so let's get this back here. There we go. Uh, you can see his bazooka, as it were. Really cool piece of weaponry. I dig it. Um, I like the padding here. It's a nice touch. I like the offset handle on the front. No idea if this is based on a real piece of equipment because that's just not my thing. I just want to know if it looks like a cool toy. And this looks like a cool toy. Uh, so let's compare it. Oh yeah, different color. Great. Love that. I love that it's actually a different color. It's a lighter green uh, and actually does... Now, the original Bazooka's Bazooka was black. Uh, I think this green works. I mean, this is what when you see stuff like this, like this stuff does tend to... This, this larger uh, weaponry does tend to be that olive drab, uh, something other than black. So this actually works really well, especially with the extra paint on it. Uh, for the shoulder strap and that padding. Same thing with the backpack, it's that lighter green. So cool, very cool that they went with some different colors. Uh, for this, <laughs> this is not the first version, oddly, but the uh, the one based on the original. Uh, and then we've got the projectiles. And the backpack with the space for storage, which is great. Storage not just for those, but for the weapon itself. Which I may, since I've got uh, my Tiger Force in a nice and dynamic pose, this guy might just be, kind of be standing. Uh, but we've got nice little kind of inspired by the decoration that would be on the front of a fighter plane. Just a nice little touch, nice little thing to add on there. You see this guy, you know, in his downtime, sits around decorating these things. I like that. It's a little bit of storytelling there. Uh, and then the other one here, it's got a nice sort of caution-looking paint job on it. One of these little checks is out of place, but whatever. Like, is it okay? Not really, but does it bother me? Not really. And so all of those fit into... The backpack, in theory. I felt like I had an easier time with them with the uh, Tiger Force version, but that was a long time ago, so who knows? Way more time passed between the bazookas than I think anybody was expecting. I love, I'll point this out again, I pointed it out on the Tiger Force one. Uh, I love these riveted panels. Uh, back here on the inside of this. I think that looks really nice. Yeah, that's as far down as those go. Uh, and then he's got his helmet. Nice paint on that as well. Uh, with the band on the top here and then the strap. And if it's like the Tiger Force one, it fits perfectly on that big noggin. Looks great. Very much like that original figure. And let's see. Oh, you know what? I... Oh, I don't know if it'll work, though, because this 
That's pegged in. I'm going to give it an okay. Hang on. Okay, before I get any further, here is Bazooka next to our Double Zero Snake Eyes. And it's really funny to realize the size differences in some of these classified Joes, because you don't really think about it. Uh, but Bazooka much larger than our Double Zero Snake Eyes. But this is what I went to get. Uh, this is a backpack. Well, it's a shield strap from... I finally got one of the Toy Biz Marvel Legend Captain America figures. For a retail price, by the way. And I didn't want this strap on him because it just doesn't look quite right to me. And I thought, well, let's see if this will work for Bazooka. And it looks like it will, except the peg isn't going to go in far enough. Yeah. I mean, I can I can adjust that. It's not super important for me, uh, to me, for him to have backpack straps. But once it was pointed out that it's a little weird <laughs> that his backpack is just kind of floating on his shirt, I did sort of agree with that. Uh, so I could maybe put a little electrical tape around that peg, thicken it up, so just that little bit that does go into his back stays in a little bit better. I mean, there there are ways that I can fix this. So if you happen to have one of those Captain Americas and don't want to use uh, the straps for the shield, then you can put them on Bazooka here, which I am not going to do at the moment because it's just going to require some alteration. I'm not going to mess with it. But I was just curious to see if it would work, and I'm, gl I'm glad I remembered it at the last minute there. Uh, okay, so, it, it pegs in okay. Uh, okay, it's better than okay. It's fine. It's fine. It stays in. Uh, so there, his belt has gotten out of place again. So there he is, uh, our regular version of Bazooka from the G.I. Joe Classified series. Looks absolutely fantastic this is as much as i like the tiger force one and do think it's actually a superior action figure just for fun and design uh this is the bazooka that i had to have uh this one will go on my regular joe shelf the tiger force one is already on my kind of offshoot uh repaint whatever shelf uh but i'm i'm thrilled to have this one you gotta have this or i had to have this bazooka like, there's no question about it. I needed the classic look. Uh, so there he is. I think he's great. Uh, very happy with the execution. And can't wait to put him on the shelf. I can't wait to get an Alpine. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about Needless Things. And uh, come back tomorrow for Shipwreck, one of my most highly anticipated classified series releases. Until then, yo, Joe! Smash that like button if you like needless things.